I'm Cameron Geddes, and I'm working at Berkeley National Lab in the LOASIS program. And we're working on the development of compact particle accelerators based on using high-intensity lasers to drive plasma waves. To use a laser to accelerate particles, we have to change the laser whose field is perpendicular to its direction of propagation to create a field that goes along the direction of propagation so that it can accelerate particles. The way that we do that is by using the plasma. You can think of it like the wake of a boat. As a boat travels through the water, it displaces the water. In the wake of the boat, the water rushes back and initially overcompensates, making a little hill in the water, an oscillating structure after the boat passes. So we're really doing the same thing with the laser and the plasma. So as the laser propagates through the plasma, its radiation pressure displaces the electrons. That displacement creates a charge in the plasma because the ions are too heavy to move. After the laser goes away, the ions pull the electrons back, and that's really what creates a wave. And that structure then, because it's composed of charged particles, electrons and ions, has a longitudinal field that we can then use to accelerate particles to very high energies. So applications for accelerated particles range from high energy physics, where we're accelerating particles to the very highest energies that we can achieve. By doing that and colliding them, we then probe the basic structure of matter. While that's what many people think of for accelerators, there are a large number of other applications. Those include making x-rays, both for material science and biology, probing the structure of matter of proteins and of organisms. They also include making MEV photons that we can use to probe cargo, for example, if we want to detect material that's hidden within cargo that's unauthorized, whether it be nuclear or chemical materials. There are also industrial applications where people will use the, either the radiation from or the particle beams directly to condition materials for manufacturing processes. And for all of these applications, the ability to reach a particular electron energy in a short distance is important. Plasmas are, I think, one of the most exciting areas of classical physics because they are so nonlinear. There's such a great variety of physical phenomena that can happen. It's fields, particles, and waves interacting. If you're interested in pursuing it, the most important thing is a good foundation in wave mechanics, in electricity and magnetism, and then from there you can go on to study plasma physics. It's a field that's being driven by continual advances in the laser performance that are available. I'd strongly encourage people who are interested in pursuing this field to get practical experience with lasers, to learn to operate them, to learn how they're designed, because that will allow you to not only use the laser that's available, but to drive what's needed for the next experiment that you'd like to do.